नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू एपिसोड ट्वेल्व ऑफ फ्लॉटर एप राइट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू अपलोड फाइल्स यूजिंग एप राइट बिफोर यू कंटिन्यू विद दिस एपिसोड ट्यूटोरियल रिगार्डिंग फाइल अपलोड प्लीज मेक श्योर यू अपडेट यूर एप राइट to the latest dev version because in the previous version the file upload is not working and we were not able to get the preview url due to some uh, box which have been fixed and deployed in pre release version 0.3.0-dev.1 so before you continue please make sure you update your upright package in pubspec.aml as well and get the package by running flutter pop get from your terminal so upright has a storage facility and it provides us with a storage service that we can use to upload files so in this tutorial we will upload profile picture of user by using the image speaker plugin and display that in the profile of the user so this is what we are building in this tutorial if you like my videos please like share and subscribe so that i can keep making more of these let's get on with the tutorial so for this tutorial first we need to add image speaker as the dependency in our pubspec.aml file so in pubspec.aml file under dependencies let us add image image speaker it's at version 0.6.7 plus 7 and flutter pub get should run automatically if it doesn't run automatically you can also do it from here get packages or you can do it from terminal by running flutter pub get once you successfully get the packages as this is native dependency this image speaker has a native dependency you need to rebuild your application if you are already running it i could not currently get the package because here there was small typo mistake so it should be picker p i c k e r now if you save flutter pop get should run automatically if not you can run this from here once that is done you can now run your project once it is running most of our work will be done in our profile page so let us head on to profile page okay first we'll add a circle avatar here to display the profile image so inside list view child circle avatar and this will not have any child right now let me just give radius of 40 so that it's a bit bigger and we would like to wrap this with inkwell so that when we tap this we can call our upload pick function and we'll pass in the context because we'll be using our auth state and so on so down here let us create upload pick first we would like to import image speaker okay and here let's make this a sync function image speaker dot sorry image speaker dot get image source will be gallery so instead of camera we'll be using gallery we can also use camera or we can provide option for user choice for user to use either camera or gallery but for now we'll stick to gallery and down here we'll check if 
file is not equal to null then we would like to do upload okay and there are certain things what we would like to do as this is profile picture we'd like to put the profile picture in the users user preference uh, link it there so that we can load it here next we would like to create a storage service of app right that we can use to upload the file so for those let us move on to auth state and up here like account let us create storage storage okay and let's initialize storage with client okay we now have a storage and it is initialized we can use the storage to upload files and finally in prefs prefs model will add So we have two variables because in pic we'd like to store the ID of the picture that we uploaded so that when you upload next profile picture we can delete the first one and save the next one because we do not want the pictures to be piling up in the storage when users change their profile picture. We just want to delete the previous one. So we have set up the prefs, we have set up the storage now it's time to use them. First, this speaker will pick a file and provide us the file, image file, okay? Next thing what we'll do is, we will load the auth state. And here we need to do lesion false. So we have a auth state. Now we can check the prefs. If prefs dot profile URL, sorry, pick is not equal to null. What we'd like to do? We'd like to delete. delete existing pick and finally we would like to upload so in order to upload we need to create a multi-part file and for that we would need to import do okay upright internally uses do package for http requests so let us import do and down here let us create Upload file equals from file the picked file path of the picked file and file name will be <coughs> file dot path dot split with slash dot last okay we have the file name and upload file now we can upload it response state dot storage dot create file and our file will be upload file and read access here we would profile provide a asterisk let me remind you one thing if you provide user specific permission here we will not be able to load the picture at the moment so for now if you want to be able to load the pictures the read access must be public and write access you can provide to the current user 
user dot id okay and finally if status code equals 201 so if it successfully creates the file string id of the created file will be res data dollar id so id will be returned like this and then finally we can get the image url for this id using get preview get file preview so final storage dot get file preview file id will be our id once we have the id and url we can now update the preference so update preference pick will be id and profile url will be url okay and one thing i'd like to point out before deleting this up here what we want to do is we'd like to delete this only if we successfully able to upload the new file so if we successfully uploaded the new file only then we want to delete the previous file before updating the preference so if prefs.pick is not equal to null we can delete this so to delete state storage dot delete file and file id will be prefs dot pick okay this will delete the existing file so it is time to test let us pick an image and let us hope that we do not get any error okay we have error the method create file was called on null okay let's check what we did wrong here okay storage is null okay so init store we uh, we added this in the initialization of auth state which was already done so we need to hot restart so let me just hot restart and once we hot restart let us go to profile pick an image now it should upload we can show some progress bar here to let the user know that we are uploading the picture and once it successfully uploads we can display the picture but it is not showing the picture here okay we have not even displayed the picture so up here what we would like to do is in the child we would like to use image.network state.prefs.profile url see it is displaying or instead of this we should use background image and here we should use network image see now we have our profile picture being displayed so where we can see this in the storage upright console so let us go to upright console So in upright console, let us go to storage. Now we have this file here. So we can see this file. All right. And this is another file I showed you previewed you earlier. So we have two different files. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to upload next picture. And while uploading next picture, this picture should be deleted from the upright console that is what we have done here so let us pick another image for now let's pick this gif now we have uploaded the gif it should display here see it's displaying now if i refresh this motorcycle pic should go and this gif should be available so let me refresh 
see you can see that the motorbike pick is gone and we can see the gif over here and not only images you can upload any kinds of files so for example if you are making any uh, organizational applications you would like to store various files upload various pdfs documents then you can easily handle all those and the files have specific permissions same as the database documents so you can provide user specific team specific permissions to each file as well however current at the current time the flutter does not allow us to retrieve and display the image with non-public read permission so if the read permission is not public like we are doing here will not be able to load this image at the moment and for profile picture it's fine because it is public but uh, soon this problem will be resolved soon we'll be able to get a file that we have permission to read each user has permission to read that way will not have to make everything public to read so this is how easily you can upload picture using the storage service provided by AppRite. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode.